Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. Today is August 3rd, 2021, and with today's patch notes for Update 29, there are going to be quite a few new legacy items in the game. Uh, but first, a reminder that this Thursday, Minerva has her big sale starting August 5th, and also it will be a double script cash-in weekend. So instead of the normal 300, we'll be able to cash in 600 script this weekend. So here are all the notable patch notes. First up, we have something new for camp builders. A button has been added to the UI when placing or editing certain camp objects like fences, bar sets, weapon racks, light boxes, and wall letters. It will allow players to decide whether they would like to enable or disable, whether they will snap to other objects. So going forward, they say, players no longer need to decide between snapping and non-snapping versions of these objects in their build menus and can instead simply place one version and decide whether to toggle the snapping of that object on or off. The appliances, the washer and dryer uh, that were brand new, uh, activating it now causes the door to open and close properly and play the proper sound effects. It fixed an issue that prevented a variety of weapons from appearing when assigned to display cases. Excellent. And the magnetic weapon racks now share a build limit with other displays and fixed an issue that allowed players to move, scrap, or store floors that had walls attached, which could result in floating structures. And miscellaneous structures, the budget consumed by the Brotherhood of Steel Armory is now consistent with other structures. And stairs, players can now correctly snap, scrap stairs that have been attached to the catwalk pieces. That's excellent, excellent. And for consumables, the carry weight booster's description now correctly states that the item's effect lasts for 30 minutes. Excellent. The fact that they're fixing, the now says cursed on the cursed weapons that you get from doing the uh, Earl. Um, let's see. Legendary weapons. This is now going to be legacy. Single shot ranged weapons can no longer spawn with the last shot legendary attribute. I'm going to pull up a photo here from a friend of mine who rolled this item. And as you can see, it has last shot on a bloody black powder rifle. They were not supposed to make it in when we had the update, but they have. So things like the Fat Man and uh, M79 grenade launchers, if you find any of those, if they manage to keep that attribute after the update, they will be legacy items. So here's that photo. And if you have completed the Wastelanders quest line, then you know about Smiley. He's an NPC that resides on the second floor of the Wayward Inn, and you can purchase gold bullion from him every week. Uh, he recycles on Mondays, so now you can, and for caps too, uh, you can purchase up to the current maximum of 10000 and if you have gone beyond rank 100 on the scoreboard, they have fixed an issue that prevented players from earning atoms. And all you have to do today is revisit the season scoreboard to claim your missing atoms as soon as you've completed any daily or weekly challenge following today's update. So you will get those atoms that you have earned. And carry weight will now be correctly displayed in your Pip-Boy. I know a number of people that have had this issue. Also, game controls will no longer become unresponsive when exiting a workbench. I've had that one. Uh, the favorites menu now correctly displays a blade icon for the Chinese officer sword. Scoreboard fixed an issue in which some players needed to log out and back in between claiming a rank up reward and accessing it in game and they've corrected a few uh, things inside on interiors and that pretty much wraps up all the top items in today's uh, patch notes update 29 thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you out in the wasteland